was going on everybody it's your boy mike rich man what's happening with y'all today i hope everybody each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today today on this episode of what's sitting at the mall i will be going into stonecrest mall uh, I, I, I keep forgetting there's new people watching me because I keep showing these sneakers sitting on these vlogs and everybody keep asking me what mall am I at? Unless I say it's another mall, it's Stonecrest Mall, um, Latonia, Georgia. Well, Stonecrest, Georgia. Now it was Latonia, not Stonecrest, Georgia. They changed it about a couple of years ago. But anyway, if you ask me what mall I'm at, unless I say a specific mall, it's always gonna be Stonecrest. I don't even say it no more because this is pretty much all only mall I go to is like 10 minutes from my house, five minutes, something like that. Anyway, um, but we're gonna see what's sitting. And real quick, I just got off work. You know what I'm saying? I'm tired like Clyde, but I'm gonna be all right. Um, bars. Uh, it, it wasn't bars, that was trash. Anyway, uh, <laughs> I'm trying to be selective with sneakers this year. I don't know if I done, I don't know if I done, done a good job or not. I might do a video on it. Um, thinking about doing it because I got to go through some shoes. But I was just trying to look on IG to see what was the upcoming sneaker releases, but IG and all that stuff is down right now. Music trying to come on. Okay. Music usually, usually don't play while I'm recording with my phone. Little Pooh Shiesty came on, but you and Big Thirty, shout out to Big Thirty. Uh, but but, and it usually don't come on while I'm on my phone. That's weird. But honestly, I do not know if it's anything else this year that I'm excited about as far as sneakers. I was gonna look in, in some of my. Uh, blog sites, Z Sneakerheads. That's shot Z Sneakerheads on Instagram. That's why I always go to try to look up upcoming sneakers and stuff. I think the last shoe I saw that I was excited about was that UNC uh, six, and this comes out next year. Which that few, that shoe was confusing to me because it got Jordan seven themes. Like on the inside of the shoe, it has that zigzag, the African kind of like pattern. And what the hell did that got to do with a Jordan six? I do not know. This colorway didn't come from a Jordan seven. So why I got Jordan 7 vibes and themes going on? I have no idea. But um, as far as this year, 2021, for the rest of 2021, I'm not seeing a whole lot of shoes I'm excited about, bro. I'm not. I know a lot of people are excited about Cool Gray 11s. Y'all watch my review. I already did my review on Cool Gray 11s, my early review. And y'all know how I feel about it. Anybody who ain't new to the channel, you know I don't like no, I don't like Cool Gray 9s. I don't like Cool Gray 11. It's crazy. I don't just don't like the two tones of gray on one shoe. Don't really like Cool Gray 4s, even though it don't do the two-tone gray thing. Not crazy about those. The bread patents, patent leather breads, not, not buying them. And it used to be a point where y'all can call Mike Rich out and be like, man, you copping anyway, Rich. We, you say you ain't gonna cop, but you copping. But nowadays, if I say I ain't copping, bro, I'm not copping. I'm not getting Jordan 11. I'm saving some money. I'm pretty much saving some bread. You feel me? I'm not getting Jordan 11 uh, Cool Grays. And I'm not getting Jordan 1 uh, patent breads. I do plan on reviewing them. I've actually showed both of them on my channel already the 11s they were that was a retail retail pair for my guy retro retail action and but those ones i did show pat and bread ones on this channel at uh good times atlanta which they get a lot of stuff early they begin samples and stuff like that so i don't know if that was the retail pair or if it was just like a early sample because they didn't even have boxes no idea like i said when i went to good times atlanta a lot of celebrities go there a lot of people shop there and a lot of people are vouch for them but i don't know where they get their shoes from but um I saw the patent breads in hand. So both of these shoes I technically showed on this channel already, but I will still try to get a review on the patent breads. But I couldn't get on IG to find out, you know, to go through the releases. But I know if it was something I was excited about, I probably would be able to think of it. So like I said, the rest of 2021, I might be chilling. I might be selling more sneakers than buying. Um, even the even the Bordeaux ones that's coming out, they got that silver swoosh that killed it for me. I thought they was gonna make them with the black swoosh. I thought they were gonna make them look like the uh, the UNC ones the, that came out earlier, University Blues. Uh, but it was just gonna be maroon or Bordeaux instead. Not the case. So, like I said, man, I ain't really excited about too many sneakers, man. But um, so either it's gonna be a lot of shoes sitting in the mall, or it's, uh for the rest of the year or it's gonna be people just buying stuff because it's around holiday time y'all comment below what y'all excited that's why i want to know because i'm drawing a blank of as far as being excited for sneakers for the rest of the year comment below 
and tell me what y'all excited for for the remainder of 2021. With that being said, let's go ahead into this mall and see what they got sitting. I just wanted to bring that up about the rest of the year. I ain't feeling nothing, man. Y'all let me know what y'all feeling and let's see what's going on in the mall, man. Do it! Look like they got them white, red 12s in their thing. I don't know if it was a restock or they got a late shipment or... Um, I can't say they didn't sell out originally because I know I ain't never seen these in this store before, but this was a real unnecessary sneaker. This was super unnecessary. They did not need to drop these. They could have gave us some cherry 12s and we would have been in there, man. Could have used the similar materials and gave us some good cherry 12, but these right here, man, they can have them. This is a generic all white Jordan 12 and they can keep these out. And they got the 13s still sitting in there, guy. The uh, Obsidian 13s chilling in DTLR. So it's still some um, Jay's sitting, man. You feel me? It's still some Jay's sitting in the mall. Let me get out of here before this Drake song give me a copyright strike. But yeah, them, them still sitting. I'm good on those too. They can keep both of them guys. I'll tell you one thing, I'm walking up on Foot Locker now. And needless to say, I don't think we got to worry about Griffey selling out no more. It was, it was, everything was selling out at one point. It was a whole hype situation where everybody was just buying everything. It looked like they're slowing down and I'm glad too. So Griffey's on deck. Yeah, keep on disrespecting my sevens, man. Keep on disrespecting. And don't nobody want these Toon Squad guy, man. Come on, man. Barclays, Georgetown Stumpers. Boy, what these is right here? Oof. Track can water. And these OG guys on sale already for a hundred. So what do we have here? So nothing else is really sitting. Champs had a lot of stuff sitting last week. This is why I saw those uh, uh, lightnings there. They had the lightnings, they had everything else. But as you can see, they got these fires in here, which I'm not surprised about either. Only thing I am surprised about is they actually did get this shipment in because um, another store didn't get the shipment. Who was that? I think Foot Locker didn't get there. I ain't checked foot action yet, but these sitting, man. Like I said, if y'all saw my review, I actually do like this shoe. You gotta hit it with some orange laces and they did not come with extra laces. I feel like some orange or some black laces will look dope in these. The cream, it just need one more pop of color somewhere. The shoe is overly beige. I know a lot of people didn't like this netting up here. When I was reading through my comments, they were like, the netting is trash. I actually like it. I think it's different. I like when they do different stuff. But other than that, the actual leather on the shoe, like I said in my review, is pretty good, soft quality leather. I like the colorway. Um, of course, I didn't keep my pair. That is, pair is sold, but these are rockable. Like a few years ago, I probably would have kept the shoe. I wouldn't have sold it. I'm just trying to be more selective. Like I said, this wasn't a must car. They're pretty clean though, man. I think this black, how you see how this black up here by the uh, islands at the top? I think down here too. All that should have been black. They would have gave the shoe more contrast, man. But ain't not bad in my opinion. If somebody cop these, I wouldn't be mad. They keep bringing out all these Presto colorway. Y'all know I'm a Presto guy, but I did not see the Halloween guy right here, boy. The orange and black thing. These the uh these the Nike Presto shattered back boy. <laughs> she gonna call everything shattered back. Nike Presto shattered backboard. You feel me? Anyway, the only reason I'm not buying them, y'all know I like Presto. The only reason I'm not buying them, cause I know they all gonna go on sale. Cause don't nobody care about them. So I'm gonna catch them for some um reasonable prices, you feel me? But uh comment below and tell me what y'all think about these sin. Like like we said last year, bro, nothing set. Every sneaker after the pandemic. Every sneaker uh, sold out. Um, Cause early 2020 stuff wasn't even selling out before the pandemic. You know, all red three stuff like that was seen going on sale. But after the pandemic, bro, and they after quarantine, they shut everything down. Everything's uh, sold out, and stuff starting to back to sit now, which I'm I'm enjoying, man. Easy to get sneakers, bro. Y'all come below and let me. Hey, man. Before I continue the video, bro, I know it's gonna be a lot of people in the comments. They be like. Oh, Rich, they sitting because they trash. Don't do that. Don't do that because 2020, how many trash sneakers sold out? That's getting on my nerve. Ain't nobody around right now. Anyway, how many trash sneakers sold out last year? Don't give me that they trash. Don't make me go down the list and tell you how many trash sneakers that was way worse than them uh, fives right there sold out. Don't give me that they trash. That's why they sitting. Um, because I think they said, I think it's other reasons why they 
sitting. I think things are slowing back down and getting back to normal. Um, everybody gonna use the excuse of people running out of government assisted money. That could be one thing, but it, it ain't got nothing to do with the shoe because a bunch of garbage was um, selling out last year, man. Every, but every single retro that dropped, no matter what colorway it was, sold out last year. So I wanna hear that. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's see if JD Sports has any sneaker setting. Well, they got the white Air Force Ones on deck, so you need some white Air Force Ones, man. We we finally got them sitting in here. Talk about everything selling out. I mean, Air Force One was selling out too. Uh, we got the 13s and the 7s, of course, in here. That's about it, though. Them right there, paint stroke guys. I don't know what they were trying to prove. These, these look, they some mids, but that ain't the problem. It's just a suede cork with the paint splatters, you know. Some artist vibes going on, you feel me? Like I said, you got your retros, you got your stompers, you got your Barkins, you got your Griffies, Griffey two trillions down here. And you got your uh, Georgetown Bo Jacksons, which they only got small sizes left in those. I checked those out last time. And once again, the wall of Crocs. All right, I'm in, uh, as you can see, lids. It's not lids, locker room, it's just the regular lids, but they do have jerseys in here. Man, I'm doggone Falcons, man. I ain't gonna cap, bro. I have not watched any games. I watched the first half of the first game of the season, and when I saw they were gonna be the same Atlanta Falcons, I stopped watching. Really, I've been struggling ever since we lost Super Bowl that year, so. And I'm just tired of being stressed out watching this team. Y'all can call me a farewell to fan, whatever you wanna say. If we was good, I'd be watching. Yeah, I probably would, but I just, I can't, I got too much stress in my life right now. To deal with the Atlanta Falcons, man. Y'all ain't finna stress me out this year. I watch, I just look at the score after the game over with. I've been watching other teams, though. So I got so many Atlanta hats that's this color, bro. I like the fact that this one got the zone seat vibes, though. And the peach. What's on this side? Then you got the east side. I'm throwing on the east side going on. That that east side right there. And the Mickey Mouse hands. But east side Atlanta, zone six. East Atlanta, you feel me? I love the vibes of the hat because it represent my city. It represent where I'm, what part of town I'm from. But it's still a original colorway braid hat, still blue and red. I got like eight vari variations of the blue, the navy blue and the red Atlanta braid hat. I wish I could take one of the ones I got back and get this one. Cause like I said, I I'm really digging the East Atlanta vibes on her, but I let them keep it this time. I don't know, I might come back and get it. And they going crazy with the patches, man, with the Georgia Peach, World Series, the Atlanta, man. These hats hard, man. I just got too many, bro. I do not need no more hats. So, foot action. They finna close their foot action down in a little while. They closing all the foot actions down, but they got the uh, they got the fives. They still got these twelves, which was, I call it the dryer lint twelves because of that bottom. Uh, <laughs> and then, of course, they got the thirteens, which look like somebody wore this pair. They shouldn't have made it a white inside anyway, but it looked like somebody just put that on and um, ran a few errands and then brought them back to the store. So got a couple things in foot action as well. They got uh, in the GS size, they got everything, man. They got the whole plethora in here, man. But what these is, boy? What are these? Hell yeah, no. Nah. And Club Jimmy Jazz look like the only, besides those little ones that be chilling, the only really retro is sitting is these Ashley Boy Oreo uh, Moonlight whatever five so there's that not a surprise that these are sitting not a surprise the mids are coming up though man you starting to get the extra lace gang going with the mids man you can't hate on that bro boy what these is look like an iron what these is man a failed experiment that what they is all right, so Champion went away and went to Walmart years ago. Then a few years ago, Champion got back popular, and now it seems like they're going down the, down the, uh, the bad lane again, man. They're going down the construction lane. They was in HOV lane at first, now they're in the construction lane, they're on the shoulder. Uh, man, I, I, well, how long is it going to take before we don't even see Champion in these stores and then go back to places like Walmart, Target, and stuff like that? Y'all come and let me know. Because these all are, of course, trash can and liquid there. Love Unites. Okay. All right then. These Ferrari Pumas got Bordeaux vibes going on, but they still trash, man. 
Okay, so now I ain't even see neither one of these in there. Uh, they're not kids. They look like men's. You got the milk chocolate ones. You got the yellow guys. I wonder if they kids. They're not kids. I, I can look at them right now and tell that they men's shoes or maybe women's. I don't know. Never seen that. I actually like that brown color. It's kind of dope. Huh. And you got the lemon, the lemonade guys up there. I don't know. What y'all think? Comment below. And I'd be damned if I walk out the house with a whole Batman outfit on, man. With the Batman sweats, bro. And the shirt. Batman look like he made out of suede, too, man. What? But what that is? And I know, I know people gonna say, Mike Richie used to wear the graphic t-shirt. I did. And I, and I still throw a graphic tee on from time to time. This, however, is not a graphic tee. This look like they just tried to make a stylish. Look, I'm talking about they got the good quality knit on the Batman logo. Ooh, they tripping, man. Okay, then. <laughs> yeah, another, another pair of Oreos on deck like a chick. It says, Ties Sneaker Accessories. You got some, uh, number one, let's get the elephant out of the room first. Does Nike know y'all doing this? Got them on the socks? Is that is that trademarked by Nike? I don't know. It says Rain Runners. Those, I guess those are plastic things that go over your shoes. They got some, uh, some, uh, lace locks right here and they actually got like leather laces and all kind of like breast cancer laces and 3m reflective laces they got the off-white with the shoe laces wrote on there so uh actually i'll probably wouldn't mind copping a couple of things out of here them got them socks is just they too on the nose man they they right on the nose bro. i'm good on that oh yeah i can breathe air again now anyway leaving them all um, things sitting. I got me some. I, I, I ate my little girl candy the other day. <laughs> you ever buy your kids snacks and you just eat them, <laughs> and then the kids be like, "What my candy?" Yeah, I had to go ahead and replace my baby candy before she found out I ate it. Plus, I got me some uh white t-shirts and black t-shirts from Champs. I always get. I don't know when I go in the mall, even if I don't buy nothing else, I always get like some plain t-shirts. It just just essentials. You feel me? But as far as things sitting in the mall, I'm not surprised. It wasn't a surprising situation that those fives were sitting for sure. Cause just going by y'all comments, a lot of times I go by y'all comments when I review a shoe. And half of you, it was like 50 50. When, most time when it's 50 50, the shoe, will, well, if it's 2021 and not 2020, the shoe will end up sitting. In 2020, people can say the shoe trash, people can say the shoe suck, and it'll still sell out in 2020. We gotta know the difference. Oh, in the whip. Okay, we gotta know the difference, man. You know what I'm saying? 2021, people say shoe trash and it actually might sit. 2020, people say a shoe trash and they still gonna sell out. You feel me? That is pretty much the pattern that I've been recognizing lately, man. So anyway, man, y'all come below and tell me what y'all think about the five sitting. Do you want them? My, I'm glad I was able to get mine sold. Shout out to my guy Retro. I'm glad I was able to get mine sold before they release and start sitting around and collecting that dust tan because I don't even know if I was even gonna be able to sell them for retail. If I would have still had my pill. Um, finally, not seeing no Bordeaux sixes no more. So they, they pretty much selling out now. I think that shoe was more of a late shipment thing than a not selling out thing. Because I, I know a lot of people wanted that Bordeaux six. And they hard. It's a dope shoe, dope colorway. I copped the pair myself. You feel me? I got an upcoming video. I think I'm going to do because I'm about to do another big shoe sale. I still haven't got around to doing that shoe sale yet. But I'm going to um, kind of go through a lot of shoes I bought this year. Because I said I was going to be more selective. So I'm going to see. I'm not, I don't know if I'm going to go over every shoe I bought this year, but I'm going to see like stuff that I did have to buy and stuff that I'm like, you know what? Maybe I shouldn't have copped these. I didn't have to have these. You know, as far as being selective. I did some double ups that I'm not sure I really had to have like that. And then we're going to, y'all comment below and tell me what y'all think about that idea. Should I film it or should I just do it without recording it? I'm sure it's shoes. Y'all want to see it. So I probably will post it. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching this video, man. Hopefully I can bring to you more what's sitting at the mall videos because as y'all know 2020 was terrible for mall vlogs that's why i had to just go in there and clown and roast shoes that i thought were trash can water and um hopefully nobody took offense to me dogging shoes out because just because i don't like it and i think it's trash that don't mean that y'all shouldn't like it because there's plenty of shoes I cop. And y'all let me know in the comments that y'all think are trash. And I don't I don't fault y'all for that. I don't hate y'all for that. I would like to I would like to have a reason why you think they trash, but you don't have to. 
You can just say, I think they trash, Rich. Only thing I don't like is when somebody tell, like I said in the video before, don't tell me what I like. It'll be a lot of shoes that I review or I say I like, and people like, Rich, come on, Rich. Now, you know you don't like those, Rich. I don't know if Nike paying you, Rich, but you know, trust me. If it's a shoe that I don't like, I'm going to say I don't like it. I'm sweating. If it's a shoe that I hate, I'm going to say it's trash. If it's a shoe that I like, I'm going to say I like it, and I'm going to say why. You feel me? So don't ever try to tell me what I like and I don't like. Don't do that. Do that to yourself. Go in there and do it to your mama, your daddy, your uncle, them. Don't do it to your boy Rich, because I ain't the one. Crest the white stuff in the corner of my mouth. Y'all didn't tell me. Mm, I ain't even feeling it. Mm. Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of the Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them. You feel me? And keep watching my video, because that's what I'm here for. Gone. Yeah, uh, yeah. Rock, rock money now. Spaceship. Going to the moon on them. Yeah. Call up the plug, hit me a lick. Early kids from Retro Rick. New air bubble like helium lift. So as the blessed, thank God for the gift. Yeah, yeah, it's a hit. Premium fit. No barbecue, but this is it. Hold up, rock, rock just might hit with richest kicks. I mean, my rich. Yeah. Ballin' all the way to the moon on them Space Jam going on the tune on them Sweeping y'all haters, get the broom on them New heat coming real soon on them Mike Rich fans, shout that's what I got to give for Thank you for watching these vids, that's what I'm here for Gone All the way up to the moon on them What's happening to everybody? Life so lighty daddy. Hit that Nike store just like your girl hit Hobby Lobby Then we fly to Abu Dhabi, then we gone Straight up to the moon on them